Retro Jango here, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is the normal Amiga 500 box, millions of them sold. This is the Amiga 500 Plus, and uh, it's, it's actually the first time I see the box. So um, the seller uh, plucked this one in yesterday and checked it, and he uh, knows that it works, but he had it from new and he, the battery is still inside the computer. So uh, let's uh, disassemble it and let's see how it looks, how much of dam damage it has caused, uh, because it works now, but uh, it, it, oh my God, the traces and all that. So uh, let's take a look, guys. It's unboxed and I have actually another Amiga 500 plus, but, um, from the pictures, it's it's dark, but from the pictures, I mean, this one looked really, really nice. I can see it looks a little yellowed in the in the camera, but in real life, it actually looks really nice, guys. Really, of course, it has to be cleaned, but uh, but I really like what I see. So uh, let's see how it looks with the battery inside. So, uh, first, as you can see, he had it from new and uh, it's still sealed. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I just hope that uh, uh, no expansion. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine with me. So, I'll just. Uh, Take off these six screws and let's take a look inside. I'm sorry, it's it's really dark right now. Um, it's a dark place here, but I just want to say that when when you open these machines, uh, most of the times, the one that that I have bought here in Denmark, we have a lot of moist. Um, these uh, RF shields, they're usually uh, most of the time uh, uh, with a lot of rust. Also, this cover. It gets rusty, but this uh, it's got a little here, but um, oxidation so there. Oh, two centimeters, one missing here. But uh, this one looks uh, it's dusty, but uh, let's see how it is. It's under the hood here. I just hope the battery, I mean, I can see it has never ever been opened before. So this is the first time since uh, it was sold. <laughs> oh, crossing fingers. Damn, we got some battery there. Damn, let me take a look. Yeah, the usual shit, but it can be cleaned. Also here, damn, I mean, uh, just in time, you know, <laughs> no, it's uh, 10 years too late, <laughs> but I know it gives out a picture, so I will, of course, unsolder the, the battery and uh, clean, as you can see over here, the Gary sockets are, I'll, I don't know if they're green or if it's dust. Oh, it's just dust, but it's got some, it's got some, some uh, 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 juice here from the battery and, and here on these two resistors. So I have to check these traces if some of them are cut. Uh, and usually, usually um, I have seen others where these legs are totally green. Uh, also here and on the connectors here. So it's not that bad. I mean, uh, Guys, it's a Amiga 500 Plus. I love this one. As you can see, the 8375. I love that fat Agnes. And the Kickstart 2.04. And it's from 34th week of 1991. 3591 and 34. 
week 34. So uh, yeah, mid of 1991, and uh, this one can have two megabytes of chip memory, and this one deserved to have the ACA 500 plus, and it would be an awesome computer to uh, to play some WST log games on, guys. So um, I will just clean this one up. This one is gonna stay in my collection, that's for sure. <laughs> So uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys, have a nice day, bye.